Hey guys, Kev Collects here, and I have um uh some doll reviews to do today. Um, well, doll review, and then maybe we'll make a few other ones. So yeah, so went to Walmart um yesterday looking for some shelves, which honestly I didn't even end up getting, so it was kind of like, eh. but while I was there, I just happened to browse by the doll area, and um they just got in a few of the extras and i've been waiting to find these in stores so bad because i just i don't know there was like a lot of scalper prices um that were like just like insane like 50 bucks for the doll and everything and like um you know i want to wait till i found them in store i mean even though like some places were getting a little like splotchy like they would have them on like they were having for sale at retail price and everything online and then go in and out in and out like walmart target blah blah um i decided to just be like you know what i'll wait look for them in store, you know, have a little fun kind of like searching for them, get a little kind of like look at what doll I'm getting because, you know, I'm all about like the makeup being proper, clean, everything like that. Like I will sit there for an hour looking through every single doll to make sure I get the exact one I want. But yeah, so I went there and I found Miss Number Five, which honestly I want to give them names. So I'm thinking of on my Instagram doing a little kind of poll to see what kind of names should be used for each one of these um so yeah so i found her number five i found number four which honestly i'm obsessed with this one she's so pretty um and her face makeup is just insanely beautiful and then i also found number one which i was really really excited to get her as well and like none of the dolls were really being found in any of my stores like once in a blue you'd find one and I was, like, not really obsessed with the extra dolls in the beginning. So I was kind of just like, eh, whatever. I'll hold off and just wait till they, like, go on sale or something. Well, they're, like, not really easy to find near me. So, like, honestly, I was just kind of, like, gonna just bite the bullet and just be like, fuck it. Get them all. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm, like, just so hyped because these are so, so beautiful. Um, so, yeah. So I'm gonna be doing a review on number five first because she's the one I was most excited for. Um, and... Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And I still need to find number two. I'm honestly probably gonna order her on Amazon today because I just, I wanna complete the line. And I honestly do think that they're worth it and they're really, really pretty. And I mean, I already do have number three, which is the standard Barbie um, one and everything, which I honestly, yeah, got it right here. And you know what? In the beginning, I wasn't a huge, huge fan of them. Um, just cause I can't do like splits and stuff. And I don't know, like the fashion choices are a little questionable for me, but getting to look at them a little more, I honestly love them. I really do. I think they're really detailed and I honestly love her. I love her hair. I love a crimped hair. So yeah, I was like, whatever, you know what? Another doll line to get my <laughs> hooks into and collect. So, um, yeah, so that's what this review is going to be about. So we're going to do number five first and then I'm going to do a little review. Then I'm going to do a review for each one of the other ones. Um, oh, and on top of that, um, I did already open them because I was hungry last night. I also found the Lady Gaga Oreos, and I know they're just a standard vanilla, just recolored and everything, but, like, I love this packaging. <laughs> I even, like, carefully opened it. <laughs> um, like, I'm gonna keep the wrapper. I mean, I might. <laughs> but, yeah, so, just so you guys know, they're really, um, yummy. Yeah, I didn't realize I liked the vanilla ones until Chromatica did a little a little trip to them or they did a trip to chromatica um so yeah enough of me talking let's get this doll opened okay guys so i have her all out of the packaging and she's freaking stunning she is so freaking stunning that like legit i think this was the doll that really kind of flipped the script for me and just made me fall in love with them you know, um, initially, I'm because, I don't know, I'm not really a huge Barbie fan. Um, I mean, I love the collector Barbies. Like, I actually have, I do have collector Barbies that I keep in box and everything. Like, I have the Tia de Muertos um, Barbie because she's beautiful. And I'm talking about the first one, not the second one. The second one, I was like, mm, a little iffy on. So, I didn't pick up her. But, um, I have her. I have, like, the Mermaid Enchantress and everything, who is just, like, one of the most beautiful dolls I think I've ever seen in my life. Um, and then, like, Black Widow Barbie, all, like, the Marvel kind of, like, little Barbies, um, that came out, like, last year. Like, Storm, Jean Grey, Mystique, all that jazz. Um, and then I have, like, um, I also have, uh, the Dragon Empress Barbie. Is am I forgetting any? I don't know. But, yeah. So, I'm not really a huge, huge fan of Barbies, like, like, toy line, um, 
dolls, but yeah, the collectible ones I'm definitely a big fan of. But these ones are just, I think it's the articulation mixed with just the cool styles that really kind of got me hooked. Um, you know, I'm always into like fashion dolls, like my own G's, my rainbow pie dolls, even my like not a not surprise teens. I'm like really kind of obsessed with right now. So yeah. And then monster high and ever after high were like my faves, like way back when. So yeah. So getting a good look at her and everything. Um, she definitely has that really kind of just like edgy type of like, like, I don't know. I feel like she's probably like the boss bitch like she's like don't mess with me don't mess with me um yeah so okay let's get started with her face all right so gorgeous 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 that's all i can like honestly say she is just beautiful i love the little kind of beauty mark on the side i love the lip color the thicker eyebrows is really awesome very kind of like trendy um you know, um, you can't really see, but if you, like, look closely, she does have, like, a nice type of, like, fade gradient. Like, starting, um, here you see, like, little hair follicles and it gets more solid as it goes out. Um, so I'm a big, big fan of that. Her eyes themselves, like, oh my god, like, they're beautiful, like, brown eyes. Like, yeah, they're definitely brown. Maybe you can kind of, like, borderline hazel, but, like, no, definitely brown, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, she's just so, so pretty. And I just, oh my god, I just love her. I love her eye, like the eye makeup, everything. Like she does such like, a unique look. And um, yeah, so like also one of the weird things is the hair. Like come on, look at these gorgeous freaking braids. Like rainbow braids, like rainbow pastels. Um, I'm loving the color tones they chose. Like very kind of like, like nice shades. Um, like yeah, I guess like pastel shades. Yeah, yeah, I would say pastel shades and everything. So I'm a huge, huge fan of that. Um, it's just, oh my god. And just like the, I just love braided hair. I love, love, love braided hair. And I'm not talking about like, like simple braided hair. Like, I don't know exactly what type of hair. Like, are, is this like box braids? Is that what these are? I'm not like 100% sure. I'm not really good with, I'm not gonna like, I'm not really good with like fashion terms or like um, style terms. So I don't know, but I'm just, I love them. I really do love them, all right? And, like, getting a nice little, like... So it's, like, layered and everything. So you got pink in the front, then purple, then blue. Going to the back, it goes to green to yellow. So it's just... It's wonderful. It really is. I would love to take it out, too, and see, like, how it looks, like, the gradient. But I just don't want to take it out of these beautiful braids. I love them. All right? And, um... All right, so there's a good look at them. So she does have a really cool pair of earrings. I don't know the style of these. I, ca <laughs> I call them the croissant uh, earrings because they look like little croissants. It's like don't play me like come on they kind of look like them right um so i love that um going to the necklaces and this is one thing that i really feel like they hit like the ball on the head or the nail on the head and everything the layered necklace look is so in like it's so trendy i just they just gave us so many they could have given us a simple little ear a little simple necklace but they didn't they gave us accessories out the wall zoo and just the layering's nice. You have like two chokers going down to like one that like dangles a little more. That's like really, really fun. Um and yeah, I'm just really living for that. Um, so yeah, and then okay, so going to her t-shirt now. Or the tank, I guess I would say. So yeah, so I'm gonna move this just to show you guys. So it is kind of like a loose, kind of boxy tank, which so freaking cute. I'm so happy they're actually playing around with different types of silhouettes and everything. Or different types of like form, um, a different kind of like fit looks, like not necessarily 100% form fitting. Like this is like more of like a boxy, a little like cropped um, kind of tank, which is very interesting in style and everything very trendy and then it has a cool kind of like spray painted love type of logo which is cool it's really nice uh that's a nice detail i think it's so pretty um right and the colors look really nice like it kind of has like an ombre to like it's ombre ombre god, oh my god guys i'm so bad at this i'm so sorry but it goes from like a light blue to like a white and it's nice and there's even like a little bit of like green little like line work and everything here and there and then it has like that pink outer lining so that's like really cute going to the shorts um 
yeah, they're cool. They're like a simple type of short, but I think it really works well. You know, you have a lot of other details going on that you need to have somewhere where it's a little more toned down. And so they're cute. They're like really nice little denim um, shorts and everything. So that's awesome. All right, here's the back of them. So there's a little Velcro, no pockets or anything, but the pockets on the front actually, yeah, they're actually like working pockets, which is cute. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think you can really get much out of them because they're like really tiny i mean you can maybe put like she doesn't really have any tiny accessories like if you had like a little phone you could probably put a little phone there that kind of look cute um but yeah and there's like a little little stud right there for like the buckle part so that's cute um okay so i get well you know what i guess we'll like we'll go down and then work our way up because i'm i have to get into this jacket all right so going down to the shoes now girl 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 this pop of neon green at the bottom is so fun so awesome i mean you don't really see much green on her outfit and everything so i think that's what really helps make it stand out and honestly i think it complements it really really well um i mean if you do look closely like i said before there is like a little bit of like a green kind of patches here that match that so i mean i guess there is some little touches here and there that like can really kind of bring you back down to these but regardless they're just awesome as is and i love socks i love socks up with the shoes i think that's always awesome um but these shoes like girl girl when i say these are probably some of my favorite doll shoes i've ever seen these are probably my favorite doll shoes i've ever seen like i love the chunky platform especially with the tread and everything it's like the it's like a heel timbaland boot pretty much and i'm I'm obsessed with it. This chunky heel gives me every single form of life. Like I could be like on my deathbed and see these shoes and legit like I'm back bitches. Like legit. I am just, I'm obsessed with these shoes. I'm obsessed. Like I want a pair. I mean, what's going to stop me? I can go to the store and get some if I won't. But I, yeah, they're beautiful. They're honestly beautiful. And there's no paintwork or anything on the laces, which honestly, I don't really care. I really don't because in all honesty, I think Timberlands do have like yellow laces regardless. So it it kind of blends. So it looks fine. Um, and there's like a little bit of like a black kind of like trimming at the top for like the leather part. So that's really cute. So going up to my favorite part. Okay, I'm little known secret about me. I love fringe. I don't own anything with fringe, but I'm obsessed with fringe. I just like things that kind of sway. I just, I've always been obsessed with that. She has these awesome, and I mean freaking awesome fringe sleeves that are just giving me everything. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And it just feels so fun to just move your hands around. And like, honestly, I could have her like even just pose like this and just be fine because I just love this fringe look. Um... You know, so it is supposed to be like a faux denim jacket, I think. It could even be like canvas. It could be going off like a canvas vibe. So I'm not going to necessarily say it's one or the other, but it's it could be either or. So yeah, so it's like this really awesome type of like canvasy, denim-y looking material, which um is so cute because it's a nice oversized fit. And it just, oh my God, it just works so well with this outfit. Like, oh my God, the... It's like everything's so proportioned, so nice. It's so aesthetically pleasing to look at this doll. Especially because she has these beautiful long legs. And it's just like, you know, it's just amazing. It really is. But girl, this pastel flame... They did not have to do the pastel flame work. But they did for us, for the fans, for the extraness. Like, I love this. I love flames. Like, oh my god, I love, love, love it. It gives me very kind of like Vans, um brand type of like vibes and I just I'm here for it a hundred percent so yeah gorgeous 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 love this and then there's also these little like um faux jacket I mean faux pocket looking things they're just little pieces right there they're not like leading to any kind of actual pocket but whatever love them nonetheless um so yeah so that's the doll herself I'm gonna put her down for like just a moment just so you guys can kind of get a vibe as to, I mean, just to get an idea of what other stuff comes with. All right, so another thing. These glasses are so freaking cute. Like, oh my God. And like putting them on her. Let me see. I just want to be a little careful not to like pull out any of her braids. Um, oh, oh 
I hate when they give you cute glasses and they have a cute mug. Like, it's like, do you want the cute makeup or do you want, like, the glasses on? <laughs> you know, it's so hard. But I could honestly do both if I leave them like this. But, girl, these glasses are so fetch. Yeah, girl, I'm gonna make that happen. Fetch. So fetch. All right, like, I'm... Oop, it's a little, like, lopsided, but... You know, this is the best I can get them for now. But, like, I am obsessed with these glasses, too. I love it, love it, love it. Might even actually have her really just have them with them on like that. Like, a little low because she's like, what? <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> um, yeah, I am I love the glasses. They're very, very cute on her. All right. Um, oh, and then here's the little sticker part. I am keeping these because I do think this is cute. Do I wish it was, like, more inside of the thing? And you can just peel off like an actual sticker. Yes, that would make it much more kind of fun. It would be a nice little added accessory. I do think that people like that, especially like children and stuff. But I mean, like as an adult, I do like any little type of collector kind of piece. And I like how they each have something different. So that's fun. All right. So hers is a rainbow, just like Barbie number one was a gummy bear. Um. So yeah, I'm probably going to like get a binder or something and put them on that because it's just it's fun. It's clever. Um, all right, and then the last accessories that she comes with are her little, I mean, is her little pet with, um, her pet's little car. Like, what? <gasps> this, okay, so I know some people don't really care much for pets and everything. I love it. And one thing I love most about this particular doll line and the way they do the whole pet situation is that the pets are all something different. Like, they're all a different animal for the most part. I mean, like, a majority of them are probably, like, dogs. I think we have three dogs. Then there's, like, well, two cats, but they're together with the one person. And then we have the uh, little pot belly pig. They're not all the same. You don't see each one coming with a car. You don't see each one coming with a cloud. You know, they're each coming with something different. And I think that little touch, that little added detail, makes it very, very unique. And I'm here for it. So... So here's her little puppers. Adorable. I think it's like a, a miniature pincher or like a baby Rottweiler. Is that how you say it? Or Doberman, maybe? Maybe like a baby Doberman? I don't know. But it's so adorable and has a little pink collar. All right. Little, little, tiny little legs. All right. Little tail, blah, blah, blah. And then on the tummy, it's kind of like... I think they tried to paint it and then they gave up, but like whatever. So it's a little like patch of brown. Um, so adorable, so so cute. And then the Barbie car, which legit has like a little like Jeep type of aesthetic to it, has a little Barbie logo there. It has Barbie on the bottom. Um, all right, no like added paint details, which honestly I don't care. You know, it's just it's just fun to have something extra like this, and it has an actual like working wheel setup. So like. Dude, that's like so freaking sick. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm obsessed. I love this one. I love this one. The dog, the doll, everything, the accessories. Um, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to actually get into it, but her one wrist, I think one wrist, yeah. So her one wrist actually does have like a little pink bracelet with like a little triangle cut out. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a watch or something. It's, it's interesting. Um, but then there's also like a gold chain type of bracelet which yeah is pretty pretty sick all right um and then going to articulation and whatnot so the doll's arms do go out about this far all right um it's pretty awesome they bend at the elbow about like 90 degrees actually maybe like a little more than 90, like a hair over 90 degrees and everything um all right, and that goes for like each of them. So that's cool. You get a little kind of more playability with her. Her legs go forward about that much. They go, oh, wow, they go backwards actually pretty nice as well. What? I was not actually expecting that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, her elbow, her elbows, her knees bend about that much. So a nice little range of articulation there. There's no articulation in the uh, feet, right? It's a standard kind of like Barbie foot. Um, no articulation in the waist either. So it's not like the made to move dolls. It's um, a little lacking in that, but it's enough for the price point and the accessories, everything. I think it's all perfectly, I think the doll has perfect amount of details for the price. It's actually, I think it was even beyond, to be honest, personally. Um, 
there's that and the only thing is about this these dolls that i'm a little like eh, about but you know what whatever is they don't really have any articulation this way all right so they can't do splits or anything so don't expect anything like that but still i mean they their, their legs move out a little bit so that's fine you know that's fine um, and then stands. There's no stands. So, you know, if you can't get your doll to stand up, you might have to, like, lean her against something or just buy, like, stands on, like, for bulk on, like, um, Amazon or something. You probably get them for cheap. Uh, that's something I also have to do for my non not teens because they don't either. Um, but, yeah. All right, guys. But that is my review for this doll. I'm upset. Oh, sorry, guys. And then also wrist articulation. All right. So it turns and it goes up and down. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah. All right, so that is Miss Number Five. Um, you know, I definitely want to give them names and stuff like that. So if you guys have any cool names you can kind of think for her, definitely put it in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinions. Um, and then I also want to maybe do a little poll on my Instagram and kind of see what really works. All right, so yeah, that is Number Five. <laughs> Bye, guys.